Putin bad news. Ukrainian forces make headway along two stretches of the front. According to Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malir on Wednesday, Ukrainian forces have made significant advances of several hundred meters in the Bakhmut and Zaporizhia directions as a result of successful counter-offensives over the past 24 hours, the deputy minister said in a telegram message that Ukrainian forces are continuing the counter-offensive operation, they have partial successes in liberating areas from Russian occupation. Ukrainian forces have made significant gains over the past 24 hours, moving forward between 200 and 500 meters in the Bakhmut sector and between 300 and 500 meters in the Zaporizhia direction. The conditions under which our soldiers are moving are described by Malir as extremely fierce fighting, air and artillery superiority of the enemy. The head of Donetsk region authorities, Pavlo Kirilenko, reported on Wednesday that 30 people had been evacuated from four liberated villages. We swoop in and evacuate the area. After receiving aid at a designated stabilization point in the Donetsk region, evacuees are taken outside of the area, as he put it. Dead bodies littering the roadside. The road leading into the Ukrainian village of Storozheve was reportedly littered with the bodies of Russian soldiers and the wreckage of armored vehicles after the village was recently liberated. The bloody retaking of Storozheve and other nearby villages by Ukrainian forces in recent days is evidence of the fierce fighting that has characterized the counteroffensive in southern and eastern Ukraine. When Reuters reporters arrived in the village on Wednesday, some of the dead Russian soldiers were lying on the dusty ground next to the skeletons of their vehicles. There were also bodies scattered in the nearby grass and fields. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said at a press conference on the same day, It is still early days and we do not know if this will be a turning point of the war, but we see that the Ukrainians are making advances and liberating more land. We are well aware that Ukraine's bargaining position will improve the more progress it makes. The more progress Ukraine makes, he said, the more likely, Russian, President Putin will come to the conclusion that he cannot win militarily and must instead negotiate a just peace. In his statement, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened to launch a new offensive and hinted at another attempt to capture the Ukrainian capital city of Kyiv. Russian troops were already near Kyiv, he claimed. Is it necessary to revisit that place? Putin claimed, only I know the answer. On the other hand, a student from the Indian city of Hyderabad was stabbed to death and a woman in her 20s was injured in a double stabbing in Wembley, northwest London, on Tuesday, June 13, leading to the arrest of three people. In his statement, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened to launch a new offensive and hinted at another attempt to capture the Ukrainian capital city of Kyiv. Russia's three-day special military operation against Kyiv turned into months of full-scale war, but Putin said he was considering a second attempt. Putin made the remark in a meeting with war bloggers and journalists. One student from the Indian city of Hyderabad was killed and another woman, 28, was injured in a double stabbing on Tuesday, June 13, in Wembley, which led to the arrest of three people. At around 10 a.m., local time, the police discovered the two women in Neild Crescent, London, with multiple knife wounds. The Coast Guard reports that at least 78 migrants perished early Wednesday morning when their boat capsized and sank off the coast of the Peloponnese. According to the Coast Guard, the number of fatalities and missing persons is expected to rise dramatically.